so he was left to tumble in the slough of despond all alone. But Christian struggled through the muck, little by little, toward the side of the bog farthest from his house, the side next to the wicket gate. He finally reached that side, but he couldn't get out because of the burden he carried on his back. But in my dream, a man came to him whose name was Help. What are you doing here? Help asked Christian. Sir, I was encouraged to go this way by a man called Evangelist. Christian pointed a muddy finger toward the wicket gate. He directed me to that gate over there, so I might escape the wrath to come. And as I headed toward it, I fell in here. He flicked mud from his fingertips into the mire. But why didn't you look for the steps? Help asked. We were talking, and I never thought to look for stairs. Help reached out toward Christian. Then give me your hand. Christian reached out and grabbed his hand, and Help pulled him out of the mucky mire. Scripture. He brought me up also out of the pit of hopelessness, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and straightened my steps. Psalm 40, verse 2. And set him on solid ground. Now go on your way. In my dream, I stepped toward the man who plucked Christian out of the slough and asked, Sir, why isn't this hazard fixed so poor travelers can cross it safely, since it is on the way from the city of destruction to the gate over there? This miry slough is a place that can't be repaired. It is a low-lying place where the scum and filth that comes with a conviction of sin drains and collects as the traveling sinner becomes aware of his lost condition. It is the fears, doubts, and discouraging apprehensions about oneself that arise in his soul. The king is not happy that this place remains so bad. Scripture Comfort ye the tired hands, and strengthen the knees that tremble. Say to those that are of a fearful heart, Be comforted, fear not. Behold, your God comes with vengeance, with recompense. God himself will come and save you. Isaiah 35, verses 3 and 4 Based on the direction offered by his majesty's surveyors, his workers have also tended to this patch of ground for more than 2,000 years to see if it could possibly be fixed. Sadness filled Help's eyes. To my knowledge, at least 20,000 cartloads have been swallowed up by this mire. Cartloads of millions of wholesome instructions have been delivered at all seasons from all around the king's dominions. It is said these instructions are made of the best materials in order to create good solid ground in this place, if it could be fixed. But this is the slough of despond, and it will remain so even after they have done all they can. By the direction of the lawgiver, there are certain good and substantial steps placed through the very midst of this bog to offer a sure way. But this place spews out so much filth and changes with the weather, so that these steps are hardly seen. And often, when men find the steps, they grow dizzy from their own guilt, and their feet miss the steps, and they become covered and stained with mud. But the steps are there, and the ground is good once they get in at the gate. Scripture In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Proverbs 3, verse 6